Hello and welcome. We are going to solve a closed process problem, which means we have a closed system, a gas trapped in a piston cylinder device, uh, going through a process. Initial condition of the gas is given, one meter cube, and it's, it's air, which is compressed to one-tenth of the original volume, and the process is adiabatic and frictionless. There is that, that means there is no entropy generation in this case. Okay, we are asked to find the boundary work transfer. We'll go a step further. Uh, we will use the, the volumetric compression ratio, that is a, a factor of 10. We'll use that as a parameter and see what if uh, it's increased to 20. Does that mean the boundary work will be twice as much or more? That'd be fun to calculate. So we go to test, I've already logged in, and we launch a suitable test step in this case. We follow the closed system, unsteady process, generic, simple process, and then the perfect gas model to launch the app. Air is already the default fluid, so the initial state is quite simple. That's done. For the final state, uh, we don't know the pressure. We, we do know mass is equal, mass must be same, entropy must be the same, it's isentropic. And the volume, instead of putting volume 1 by 10, we'll say V ratio. Of course, we haven't defined what is V ratio, so this cannot be evaluated. Uh, so if I try to calculate, you'll see the background become white, telling me that something is wrong in this ex expression. Well, there's no syntax error, so all you need to go is to IO panel, isolate user code codes, and declare the variable. We could have done it earlier. In that case, we will not see that error. It's 10. Now, if I calculate, that means I registered this value. If I go back to state, now if I do a calculate, you'll notice this is re recognized. If I put the pointer over, you can see the new volume is calculated and displayed and displayed at the top help panel when you put the mouse over volume 2. Okay, now that uh, state 1 and 2 have been calculated, the entropy uh, TS diagram is a vertical line. A PV diagram will be something uh, similar to a hyperbolic line, but not quite. Its equation is PV to the K equals constant, as you know. Uh, if you had few more states, the pattern will become very clear. Okay, let's go to the process panel and, and analyze for analyze the process for all these equations, mass, energy, and entropy. State 1 and 2 are my inlet and exit states. And WO is the other kind of work which means W O means W shaft and W electricity. Uh, and neither of them are present in this problem. So this default value will work. Uh, heat transfer we know is zero because it's adiabatic process. And now if I click calculate the external and boundary work, of course, external work is made of boundary work only because there is no other kind of work. So it's 325 kilojoule. That's our answer. Of course, the entropy generation is zero by definition, but the entropy equation kind of confirms that. Now, go to the I.O. panel and change the V ratio. This is where the fun begins. If you set up a problem with variable that you want to play with on the I.O. panel, simply calculate the variable to register the change and hit the super calculate button. And if you go to the state panel, if you if you put the pointer over, you'll realize that the volume is now divided by 20 instead of 10. Process panel, you'll go and look at the work. It is 498. So, no, it's not quite twice the amount of heat trans uh, work transfer, but less than that, actually, in this isentropic process, even though the volume ratio is now 20 as opposed to 10. So like that, uh, I'll leave it up to you to think of a different kind of parametric study in this problem and explore this problem to its fullest, fullest extent.